Okay, so the next step after we dry out our specimen is we got to prepare the microscope slides. So it doesn't matter, you just grab one out of there. And they usually have some amount of like dust on them. I don't know how the dust gets in there. Maybe from the factory, who knows. Um, and then what you can do is you can either use any kind of lint-free cloth, like a Kim wipe. Um, I like to use lens paper. It's pretty abundant. Again, you can get this stuff anywhere on the internet. Um, and then you just want to just wipe them off, get all the dust, all the debris off of there. And so that one is ready. Yeah, let's clean our air surface area a little. Not that it needs it, but and then we have our cover slips. I like to use the round ones. You square, it doesn't really matter. Um, these are pretty big. Uh, smaller ones sometimes work better for smaller specimens because you have to you don't have to use as much Canada balsam and it just makes mounting stuff a little bit easier but these big ones work. So I'm just getting all the lint and dust off of there this uh, lens paper. So we got we got most of it. It could be it'll be possible. Alright. So let's put that on there. Almost ready. So now we have our Canada balsam, and I've taken one of the glass um, pipettes off of its bulb and put it inside there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll get to that. Um, so, so the next step then is we gotta put a droplet of Canada balsam on our microscope slide. So I took one of the glass pipettes, put it in there, removed it from its bulb. You can use anything, you can use like a popsicle stick, doesn't matter. Um, I, this just is glass, so it's like a little bit, it's like a little bit less surface area, so potentially it will be easier to clean up in the future, but these things never get cleaned up. Um, so anyways, you can see it, there's a lot of excess Canada balsam on there. I'm gonna like try and get some of that off or just like let it, let it just drip on its own. So we have like a nice like, little droplet, no stringy bits, like a mess here. So, that's about right. So there we go. So now I've got my first droplet, like that. I'm just going to put it right in the center. And just kind of let it ball up. This probably needs, some people like to pre-add um, clove oil or xylene to their can of balsam. Um, that'll save you some time, but then all of your mounts will have the same um, degree of, of flexibility, basically. Um, so that's a big chunk of Canada balsam. Let's put that back in there. Put that down. Put the cap back on. Let's see if we can get it back on there. Yeah. Okay, so then we have our clove oil. And we're going to use that to kind of dilute down dilute down our Canada balsam a bit and so that's what these kind of long um, tweezers are for because you can use them to kind of scoop and get little droplets of clove oil and drop it on there get some droplets of clove oil maybe four drops for that size I'm going to mix it Let's put our cap cap back on so we don't spill everything and then you can mix it a bit kind of spread it out to about the same size of the cover slip probably use too much clove oil here yep 
It's a little too much cold oil, so maybe three drops, maybe two, depending on the size of the drop. Yeah, thinned it down a little too much. It was a little too aggressive. With um, excuse me. Thinning it down. That'll still work. Yeah, so we've got a big old gob of of uh, can of the balsam. All right, so now we're ready to add our specimen, um, and this will stay flexible for a really long time, and eventually it'll harden. Um, so what we're gonna do? We'll just take our specimen that's been sitting in clove oil. And you can use your brush. Um, you have to clean it up afterwards, um, so it might be easier just to use your your tweezers that you already got dirty, um, and then put this to the side. And trying to find our insect part underneath the microscope here. So we're just going to try and gently scoop it out. There we go. Without dropping anything, it should stay on the tweezer. Held in place by a little can of balsam and clove oil. Just lay it in, lay, lay it in there very carefully. There it goes. So now it's in the, I'm trying to get it close to the center of the droplet. And it's on its side right now, which is fine. So, next step then is to put on our cover slip. And so, you can use your fingers, but it tends to smudge the, the cover slip if you don't have the lens paper in your hand. And if you have lens paper in your hand, you can do that. So then you just drop the cover slip on, um, and then the surface tension should just um, basically just move its way across the, the cover slip. And that's about, and that's it. And so this one now is mounted, um, and it'll probably uh, be a long time before it's completely hardened up. It could be a couple of years or more, especially with the amount of um, clove oil that I added. It could be a really long time. Um, so, so, yeah, that's it. That's, that's a slide mount preparation.